to No Rice Pre Required. I'm Dave, and tonight I got a uh, tortellini dish that you're gonna love. It, uh, it's super simple to do. I'm actually using store bought tortellini, which I use a lot. And we're gonna uh, make a quick little sauce, very light, very delicious, out of uh, mushrooms, peas, a little bit of stock in there, and uh, you're absolutely gonna love it. Let's go ahead and get started. The longest cooking item in our tortellini dish is gonna actually be our mushrooms, which we're gonna saute down nicely until they are um, kind of nice and crispy. Most of that water is, uh, is evaporated out. I've got a hot pan, a little bit of olive oil there. I'm using shiitake mushrooms, but you can use just about anything you want. And I can tell that is not enough oil. Mushrooms kind of soak up oil um, pretty quickly. Add some salt, add some pepper, and then just give them a toss and let them saute over um, over medium high heat or so um, for probably 15-20 minutes. Once my mushrooms are cooked down, I'm just going to pull them off to a, a little bit of a little bit of a holding plate, little holding plate, and then um, actually add in a little bit of pancetta. You can also use bacon. Frankly, you could also skip it. Um, it just gives the um, kind of the broth that we're making for the tortellini a little bit of extra flavor. I uh, added a little bit of um, olive oil just to help um, help get it going. And this is probably going to go for about seven, eight minutes just until these little cubes get um, crispy, render off some of that fat. Once our pancetta is crisp up, I'm going to add in my onion. You can use shallot as well and garlic. I'm going to add back my mushrooms and just let it all kind of cook together. Again, over medium heat until the onions are soft. Then we're going to come back and uh, deglaze with a little stock. Our water is up to temperature, up to the boil. Now I'm using some, um, you know, fresh made cheese ravioli, nice, good quality. I'm going to dunk those in and I just turn the heat all the way up on my uh, mushroom mix here, mushroom sauce. I'm going to add my, um, my fresh thyme. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, that little popping. Is the uh, is the time just kind of breaking down and releasing those oils popping in the um, in a little bit of olive oil there? I've got some frozen peas. I'm going to add, and then I'm just going to deglaze everything with a little bit of chicken stock. And I'm going to let that chicken stock reduce by about half while my pasta cooks. Fresh pasta doesn't take long, but if you need to, you can turn the heat down. Or, uh, or if, you, uh, if you're over reducing, or you can just add more water if you've uh, reduced it too much. Add the pasta into the high pan, hot pan. Good and hot. You need salt, you need a little bit of pepper in there. And then uh, we're just going to toss everything together. And the starch in the pasta is going to um, thicken that sauce, thicken that chicken stock just a little bit more. And you want uh, you know, to give the pasta a good minute or two to soak up you know, some of those flavors, absorb them into the, um, into the uh, pasta dough itself. And then um, we're going to come back, finish it off. It's going to be perfect. Okay, let's finish up our pasta. Mine's actually looking a little dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of pasta water that I reserved from uh, my liquid. I'm going to turn the heat all the way down and add maybe a tablespoon of butter. And that's going to, um, you know, add to the sauce, the richness and, uh, you know, just delicious flavor of the butter. And then I've got a little pecorino cheese. We use Parmesan cheese as well. I'm going to make sure all that's tossed. And then we're going to give it a final taste. Adjust for seasoning, salt and pepper. Let me get one of these guys out of there. Good on salt. A little more pepper, final toss. Let's go ahead and serve it up. Let's serve up our tortellini with mushroom and peas in that nice little chicken broth. It's absolutely delish. Make sure you get a little bit of everything in there, even some of that juice. Then you can always garnish it with a little bit more of our pecorino. And you got an awesome dish that frankly only takes about 25 minutes. I'll see you next time on No Respiration.